started doing art um, right away when I was very young. Uh, my parents didn't know how to keep me busy all the time because I had lots of fractures as a child. And so I would be bedridden or in the hospital or something. And, um, you know, when I'd get bored with reading or movies, then I wanted to just make stuff no matter what it was. It could have been gluing stuff together or drawing or watercolor. But I know my mom used to tell stories of how I would um, sell my drawings at Christmas for like 50 cents or a dollar to my relatives. I knew I wanted to be an artist before I could say the word. On public television, um, I watched two shows primarily when I was a kid, and one was Bob Ross, The Joy of Painting, and the other was On Stained Glass. And when I saw those two shows, I knew that's what I wanted to do, both of those things. I went to school at UW Oshkosh, and I had a major in drawing, painting, and sculpture. I pretty much learned the glasswork, independent study, you know, on my own, and that's evolved ever since into blown glass and lamp working and fused glass now, and I still do them all. The Tree of Knowledge, the stained glass is in my dining room. That one took me about five months. It's my largest stained glass I've ever done, and it has about 2,300 pieces of glass in it. One of my favorites has to be glass blowing with a torch or lamp working. And I make uh, all different types of things with that. And I, I can make small stuff or big stuff, bottles, jewelry, marbles, anything under about five inches, I would say. And the piece that I made actually gonna be an oil lamp that'll stand like a candle. And I have to make each piece individually each section of it and then fuse it together in the end and then you can put a wick in the top and light it like a candle. So I studied glass and then during that time as well I was introduced to the drawing and painting professor there, Li Hu. I started taking classes with him. I took many drawing classes with him as well as watercolor and then uh, moved into oil painting basically. I had a good three years of solid being taught by him to draw and paint and he has a classical uh, training background from Shanghai, China. I decided to do some portraits of Li Hu which you see around me. He, he's been my main mentor I would say as far as art goes. Really one of the paintings that I did of Li I entered into a show in Appleton at the Trout Museum and I won Best of Show with it. He was able to be there, which was really awesome, right when I found out I won. It was really a great night, actually. I'm always working on my technique and skill, trying to improve my quality, try new things. I really like to experiment with different techniques in painting, in glass, and anything. I just want to remind people that life isn't always about the boring and the mundane and it can be beautiful even if it isn't necessarily super exciting although I do like to add as much drama into my art as I can even if it's just with the lighting or the atmosphere I'm trying to create. Really uh, I just enjoy the process the most I think more than anything. I was told that my portraits show more than just the person but uh, the way that I feel about them, even. Um, people told me they could see my relationship with my professor in the painting that I recently did without knowing me or the professor, and they could see that I revered him. So that was a big compliment to me because it's about more than just capturing someone's likeness, but capturing some emotion or some something deeper. He gave me the best piece of advice, and he gives this to all his students, and he said it many times, but he said, art and life is not about talent or gifts, it's about passion. If you have the passion and the drive to do something, you will get there. You just have to keep working at it. And that's really what my biggest lesson has been to this day, because I just keep doing it. I'm not exactly where I want to be yet, but um, I know that if I just don't stop, I'll get there.